I've had a lot of folks asking me, I've watched your uh, potato video series and really liked it, but my question is, is can we grow potatoes in five gallon buckets? The answer is yes, and we're gonna walk through that process today. See you back in a few. Okay, this is a pretty easy process and um, we started out just the same as we do as we talked about on our first potato uh, series. So be sure and watch that series because it gives you a lot more comprehensive instruction on how to do this. It's just, this is the same thing only on a much smaller scale than the 20 gallon tubs. We're going to only use a 5 gallon bucket. So we start out with our seed potatoes and I put them in my um, little egg crates like I always do. And I keep them in a dark, um, kind of warm place until they start to chit. And as you can see, the chits have grown to where they're about at least three quarters of an inch long. And whenever we get chits up to that size, then we're ready to go as long as the nighttime temperatures are 45 degrees and above. The second step in the process is you need to select yourself some five gallon buckets that are food grade quality, BPA free. And the way that you know that, some of them put it right on the bucket when you get them, it, it tells you they're food grade buckets. And uh, you can go to like a, um, a bakery or a, a grocery store that gets buckets full of pickles, like at a deli or something, they'll give you the pickle buckets. Any buckets that came with food in it, you know it's pretty safe. Um, go to the bakery and they have five gallon buckets full of icing yeah clean all the icing out of course you can do it the old-fashioned way or you can wash it <laughs> but anyway they're good buckets too another thing to look for is if you look on your buckets closely you'll see the recycle code right there see that triangle on there and it says hdpe underneath it and there's a two inside of that triangle that means the number two with the hdpe that's food quality that's what you want to look for is that number two on your containers so we don't want any leaching of any products that were in these if, if you ever had anything other than food in it or for example a bucket full of paint thinner you don't want to use that bucket ever even if you clean it just just don't risk it so you want to use something that's never had anything in it and if it did have something in it, it was food. Or it has this tube on there. So here we go. To get ready to put in our um, seed potatoes, I'm gonna mark my bucket just to show you how we do it. I'm gonna make a mark right here at four inches. This is gonna be the level that I fill it up to and I put my seed potatoes in. Then I'm gonna cover those seed potatoes six inches deep, which gets, gets me up here to 10 inches. So there's my fill line. This will be where I put my seed potato. This is where I fill it up to. And when, that's, when that chit is sitting in here, and it, this chit right here grows all the way up and breaks the surface, this will be the green point right here. Once it hits there, there will be no more potatoes formed. All the potatoes will form from here all the way to the bottom. So there's your growing, growing area of potatoes. Now when these potatoes get on up 
and they get past the top of the bucket here, I will fill the uh, bucket up with more soil until I get to the very top of this rim, which leaves me about approximately an inch and a half, two inches on the top. So when I water, it has a lip up here to catch the water like a water basin and let it sink through. Okay, and we, we've got the holes drilled. We want to drill plenty of holes. I put five holes in each container and I want this water, when I, when I water these potatoes, I want it to fall through. We want it to fully drain. You don't want to um, have your potatoes sitting in the bottom of the bucket and remain totally saturated in water and wet or they will rot. So it's better to let this stuff completely drain out and then rewater the next day. Let it go all the way out. If it stays wet, it'll rot. And that's disappointing. So that's pretty much the basics on the bucket. We've got the potatoes covered. The next step is I uh, make up my mix that I'm going to put in the bucket. Now I do the mix with a combination of three elements. The first element is um, the topsoil. I put about one third of the wheelbarrow full of topsoil and I get whatever's on sale, the cheapest topsoil I can get. The second element is I add in dry compressed peat and I add it up about another third of the wheelbarrow. So now I have two thirds of the wheelbarrow full. And the last element that I add in is black cow, cow manure. That finishes up the, the remaining third. So now I have three equal parts, topsoil, compressed peat, and black cow, cow manure and I blend it all together with my shovel. Makes a good mix, make sure it's thoroughly mixed and that's what I'm gonna use. All right, we're at the fun part where we get to play in the dirt. I got the bucket ready. I'm gonna add that first level of soil at the four inch mark. So I put in my soil. Let's see the, the mark right here. That's about where we're at. It doesn't have to be exact, but pretty close. There's my first level. Now I pick out my, my seed potatoes. I'm looking for the best chit I can find. These are two fine boys right here. Now see how small they are? Move, bing, bing. I, bet I, I got two potatoes. You wanna smell it? Okay. It's not food. It's not a french fry yet. I put the potato in <laughs> with the chits pointing up and I put in two of them at about that size. I don't want to crowd this thing with too many seed potatoes or, or I won't get a good tuber development. So right there as you can see how I got those two in there, that's about all you need. Next step is I cover those up until I get to that other level. that top level see the level right there and we're we're right about there so there it is now I'll take it over to the to the grow table we'll set it out with the other taters and we'll water it in real good and um, we'll come back in the days ahead and fill this up and monitor the uh, the progress so okay we got our ta our buckets over on the tater table and I want you to take a special attention to what I'm doing on these buckets when I set them out to grow I don't set them on the ground like that I always have them lifted up so the bucket itself is off of the ground like this because if it's sitting down here then that's where ants can come in through the hole, bugs can come in through, all kinds of problems. And it doesn't allow your bucket to drain correctly. It blocks the drain holes. So if I put it up here and raise it up where it's off of the ground, I get excellent drainage and I'm, it makes it a little harder for the ants and other bugs to get into them. So here we are, we're set up. I water the plants thoroughly. I water them to the point where they actually stand in water. 
because that that mix that I just put in there looks pretty dry. But you see how I got the water in? And that water will seep through. And it takes a few minutes because that stuff was pretty dry. So you want to make sure that you get it thoroughly saturated when you first plant them so that the water is actually reaching all the way down to the potato. When you got your potatoes in, you want to put some bone meal on top of this and uh, let that soak down to those potato seeds because this is nothing but an animal bone that has been ground and pulverized, which is an organic phosphorus. Orga phosphorus is what promotes root growth, and we really want that for potatoes. So we put the bone meal in, and let me water that in. So that's it for um, how to plant these. We'll be back in the days ahead and we'll do a part two of this video where we watch the progression of these plants as they grow and um, eventually we'll harvest them. The good thing about um, growing them in a five gallon container is you don't have to harvest a 20 gallon tub at one time and get you know, 15, 20 pounds of potatoes when really all you needed was you know, about three to five. For a five gallon bucket, you probably get about four pounds of potatoes per bucket. So think of it that way. And you can harvest those buckets one at a time, eat your potatoes, wait a few weeks until a couple of weeks and then harvest again. It gives you a little flexibility on your harvesting so you don't have um, potatoes sitting around for a long period of time, which they have no problem with doing that. But just some people like to eat them when they're fresh out of the ground because they got a really good taste when you first mm -hmm. harvest them. So anyway, we'll be back and uh, we'll watch this on part two and see where we go from here. And uh, if you like our videos, please subscribe. And we'd uh, love to have you to be a part of our YouTube family. So until you, we see you next time, always remember where all of our blessings come from. Come from the Lord. By his hands, hands, we are, are fed. fed. Give, Give us, Lord, our, our daily bread. bread. Amen. Amen. Have, Have a blessed, blessed day. day. Thanks for watching our videos. We really love making them. If you like our videos, please like our Facebook page to get the latest tips and tricks. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to get the newest video. Like it. It would really inspire and encourage us. But most importantly, share it to encourage others. We'll welcome your comments and questions. Thank you. Have a blessed day.